Hello everyone. This is the second video of the series on custom robot in ROS. In the first video, we saw how to install this package and go about to make the basic chassis in an empty world. In the second video, you need to follow the steps written over here. What we'll be doing is we'll be checking out the branch URDF2, which has the contents you need for the second video. In this video, we'll be installing or adding two wheels on the robot and also sensors to the robot. The sensors which we'll be adding are the camera and the LiDAR. So let's start to it. I have not installed anything. I have deleted all my earlier packages and earlier videos. So I am going to follow the steps along with you. So I am going to do git clone here. Um, yes. So I am in my desktop. I am git cloning here. If you already have this, all you need to do is where you have your git, that is .git file, you need to go to that directory and just check out this branch. But I'm going to show you one more time in this video. So inside that, I'm checking out URDF2. We are in our branch URDF2. And I'll look at KinMake. So that we know our package has been built perfectly. And then I'm going to do source. Okay. But before launching, let's see what all changes we have made. Okay, so I'm in my SRC now, inside Trixie. We see that we have URDF and we'll go right into it. So to add wheels, we'll need to edit the Trixie.zacro file because now we need to add few things which will be related to the wheels. That is the first part is the link for both the wheels. And then second would be the joints. For the wheels, the left wheel and the right wheel. You can change the name if you want according to whatever you want. We have its inertial value, collision value and the visual value. I have explained them in detail in an earlier video of what it signifies. For the initial value, we have the mass value as 5. You can change it according to you want. And you have the origin as 0, 0, 0, but you have a different role pitch in here. Make sure you, the values are same in origin for collision, inertia, and visual. And similarly, we have the values for the right wheel as well. Okay. Now, if you see that the cylinder is of radius 0.1 and 0 0.05. If you remember, for the chassis, it was also a cylinder of length and radius, but it was flat looking. Now this will be in 90 de degree and that is how you get this roll pitch in your to be 0 0.57, 1.57 for both the things. That is pitch and yaw. 1.57 is basically pi by 2. Make sure uh, you put any values which are not degrees, it needs to be in radian. And the next part is how do you connect them? You need a joint, right? So you have the two joints over here. So the two joints are the left wheel hinge and the right wheel hinge. The left wheel hinge for the joint type for connecting the left wheel to the chassis and the right for the right wheel to the chassis. How have we depicted that? So your parent link will be a chassis and your child link will be the left wheel, which we just defined below. And similarly for the right wheel. Now to notice the origin point for that, the one is minus 0.3, that is in y direction, that is it will be on the right side. And the other one is 0.3, which will be on the left side. It's pretty simple to understand the direction. If you want to change the names, you can go ahead. If you want to change the location, you can go ahead. If you want to keep it a bit closer to the chassis, it's perfectly fine. And this is where you define the Y, that is the axis for each of them. 
that is your origins and the x is x y z now the limit effort this is the effort which it can give and what is important is in with terms of the velocities okay and then there you have the dynamic part that is damping and friction etc i would recommend not to change this much keep it same because the um the dynamics can change a lot of things and which might be difficult to debug and the last part is the basic um uh, coloring of the robot which i wanted to cover so this part that is the left wheel will be of the material and uh, the green color specifies which color will be of and so the gazebo reference right wheel and left wheel both of them are green color the chassis will be in the blue color and the camera will be in the red color we'll verify that once we launch it coming back to the next part is the camera and the lidar again they will be a separate link the camera you name it as camera you can what change the name but make sure you change it in all the files which will be using it i'll come to it in what all files you might have to change it and then you have the inertial aspect just like we have it for all the links the collision value and the visual value we have play, we have given it as a size box size of this 0.0.0.05 0.05, that is a cube and the visual is also same you can again go ahead change it make it circular cylindrical spherical whatever you want i liked it to be a box i've given it a mass as well and i'm going to place it at 0.0.0 but the joint for the camera is here uh this is the origin for the camera joint and uh, the parent link is chassis again it's connected to the chassis and the child link is camera the 0.26 value for the x origin for this has been got through trial and error as to where i actually wanted it to appear in the visual frame so you can go ahead change it and uh, this is very simple to add in a camera and the next part is a hokoyu a hokoyu is a bit a hokoyu might be a bit difficult to understand but again we have made it simple by just adding a mesh file which you can download from our package so the for the visual we are using a pre created da file what da file does is it gives you the cad dimensions and has all the details in it we have a separate video on that as well and then a collision part again for all the links you need it and then an inertial part the name of the link is hokoyu you can again give it whatever you want simple but let's understand what da is so i go inside and inside meshes i have a new pack uh, new folder now which is called meshes and inside that i have just loaded the da file we might not want to understand it right now but it is a file which has all the information about the lidar and whatever sensor or anything which you want to add you can just simply download it from the internet and it will be able to be used by you now an important part is how does the sensor actually get plugged in using using the simulation right like how does the camera sensor take the images from the simulation how do we move the robot how does lidar take in the scans all that will be in our plugin we call that as trixie.gazebo that's our gazebo plugin let's understand that so for all the three you need a plugin for camera a hokuyu and then for gazebo that is for moving the robot that is the differential drive controller we call it differential drive because we have a robot which has only two wheels an important part over here is which command topic does it talk to this is very important here when you talk about cmd well this is where the differential drive 
robot will be publishing its velocities to that is we can publish velocities to and we can subscribe it to it has the left will hinge and the right will hinge if you have changed the name in your zacros file you need to change the names over here as well okay and then coming to camera again the camera has topic name as rgb underscore rgb slash image underscore raw if you change it make sure you change it then you if you change the camera name in the zacro file let's say you give it something else change it over here don't change i would say not change this because the sensor type needs to be camera and it has been pre made in the gazip it's predefined and then finally coming to the hokuyu this is the part of hokuyu for the topic name here it's a scan topic slash scan and the frame name is hokuyu again if you change any names in the zacro files make sure you come here and change it as well okay but now this is just we are defining it how does the robot actually take in this values pretty simple in the zacro files we'll just import them that is zacros include file name trixi urdf trixi.gazebo if you change the name of the .gazebo file make sure you change it otherwise you might get a lot of errors okay so this was all that is we covered the three things that is the camera joint hukuyu joint and the joints for the wheels then we covered the camera the hukuyu and then the left wheel right wheel one last thing is left is this the link name is foot robot footprint and the joint name is robot footprint joint what does this mean the robot footprint helps you project the center of the robot to the ground basically to get all the packages connected you remember you have a robot footprint in your uh gazebo world you need that for this thing so this is an important aspect make sure you include it so this was all of the changes we made in the urdf 2 branch let's go ahead and launch it so to launch it we can just copy paste this line and then control c v here you go so you have a camera that is of red color let's verify it so you have a camera which is of red color i'm gonna go ahead okay then you have a chassis which is of blue color just like over here and then two wheels which are of green color is in the robot pretty we'll call this robot as trixie and you can use it whenever you want go ahead and change it and play around with it and call your own robot but i would recommend using the trixie thank you for watching our video keep watching robometrics